What is going on, fam? Balama Dam Bam. We're here for another push day, baby. Ready to go. Uh, the agenda, besides, you know, it being push, um, I'm not sure, man. I'm trying to think of something I haven't hit yet, but I'll be honest, I really, I really enjoyed what we started with last week. Uh, or not last week, last push day, which was that incline, uh, I guess you could call it, is that, that's not hammer strength. I don't know exactly what that machine's called. Uh, incline press machine, that's for sure. It was fantastic. I locked that up quite a bit. So we're gonna try and maybe do that again. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. It's, it's a toss up between that and something maybe shoulder driven. Um, I don't know. I kind of, what I want to do with my shoulders today is I kind of want to isolate them a little bit. And by that, I mean like doing some side raises with some cables. That might be what we do instead. I like that. I like that idea. That was, that was a weak burp. I'm sorry. I chugged my pre-workout before we got in the car. I am feeling significantly better today, by the way. I've got to mention that. Like, definitely had something going on with my sinuses yesterday, dude. It's, as soon as I got done with the gym, got done recording everything like that, uh, I had a, I mean, I had a headache all day. I mean, it was definitely, there was definitely something going on. I feel a lot better today, a lot less uh, overwhelmed, let's just say that. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a good uh, press day, which any day, you know, any push day is gonna be a good day, man. Who doesn't like to do some good push movements? I mean, they're great, they're solid, you feel strong. Um, so we're definitely gonna get some, like I said, that incline press in, I think. We're definitely gonna get some cable side raises in. What else are we definitely gonna hit? Definitely gonna hit some rear delts. now. We may, what's this person do? Oh, okay, see. Um, I thought it was someone doing a fucking traffic violation, but I just couldn't see. That's my B, fam, my B. But I think we might do some cable rear delts as well. I don't know if we'll record that. Um, I'm definitely not gonna do like a superset with it because it'd just be too much like moving around cables and stuff. Uh, but we might record it next time. So, let's see, definitely gonna hit that for sure. And then triceps, what are we gonna do with triceps here? Triceps are gonna get hit regardless, you know. We just kinda of have to make, you know, make its own little wiggle room. Our kinda, since we're not doing any really overhead press movements, I kinda want to do some overhead uh, dumbbell tricep extensions. Uh, Cause I haven't done those, I don't feel like in the videos yet. Maybe I have, not, not in a bit at least. And uh, it would definitely, follow the the sweet move, you know what I'm saying? Hey, who knows, maybe we'll go ahead and wrap up with some Arnold presses once we get everything said and done. I just love Arnold presses, man. They go great, but never a bad thing to do. Throw in for a push day for sure. Uh, unless your shoulder injury you some shit. But we, I need to hit some core today. Again, I don't know what I'll record. We'll see what happens when we get in there. I'll see what the, uh, what the shebang bang is looking like. Uh, but I do have to hit some core today because I didn't hit any yesterday. My core doesn't feel as tight uh, as it did yesterday. Dude, my, my core was tight yesterday. It was hurt. I mean, it's sore. I can feel it right now. But, you know, I'm not too... I'm not I'm not sitting here going like, mm -mm, I need to skip it again. I'm th thinking I might want to do some like core stiffness. So maybe I'll do... I like to do... Uh, you know, I like to get my abs done pretty quick. Sometimes I like to go, especially if I do like planks, I like to do like plank circuits because planks are so fucking boring, man. I really need to record those too. There's so many stuff I want to record for you guys. That's why I'm trying to split these days up. Once we get to the ball, it could be easier too because I'll be, you know, we'll, we'll be doing more like a four or five day a week split. Not like we're going to do four or five days and then take a rest day necessarily, but four or five days and then uh, repeat, you know, and then fit in the rest days if we feel like we need to, but mainly doing like mobility days maybe in between a set instead. Um, we'll play around with that idea. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Um, but yeah, man, I still feel like we probably need to hit something, I don't know. I'm thinking about the triceps right now, that's what's on my mind. Like, do I want to, do I want to, like, really fry the triceps up, or do I want to, I mean, of course, right? But like, I don't know. I'm thinking big right now because I feel I'm feeling so much better. Like when you compare yesterday to today, I feel so much better, dude. <laughs> like I feel so much better. And I think it just it's I think uh, the sinus pressure for one it was distracting. 
because um, I was just focusing on that. Just felt like I had like this constant tension headache. And then two, um, you know, I think it messed with my breathing. Not in my chest, for sure not in my chest, but I definitely felt like it messed with my breathing in, in regards to like breathing through my nose and stuff, um, which I'm not a big mouth breather. I will, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I will. Uh, but I, I actually constantly try to breathe through my nose because uh, actually, you guys don't know this, I might have discussed this a little bit before, but um, breathing through your nose actually creates this nitric oxide effect in your bloodstream. It helps your, it helps your body release nitric oxide into the bloodstream rather. Um, and what that does, if you guys are familiar with some of these pump supplements out there, it helps give you a pump, we've talked about it before, but uh, it just helps with blood flow and stuff. So, um, you know, that was being affected yesterday, and so I think that, that was getting me, but I'm feeling good today. We're gonna go fucking kill this push day. And then I'll see you guys uh, on that incline press machine. Alrighty then. I've already taken the pump cover off because it's nice and toasty in here, which I love. I love a nice warm gym. I hate it when it's cold, man. I like to feel like I'm building up a sweat. So, but one thing I definitely love about this gym is I definitely don't feel like I'm just freezing all the time. To get a few warm up sets in. Oh, by the way, we're doing just regular incline. <laughs> I wanted to switch it up this week. I don't want to hit that same machine twice. I mean, there's no problem with that, but for the sake of making the videos a little bit different, and it's probably good for me to just switch up the types of way I was hitting this. I was going to go ahead and hit dumbbell, but surprisingly enough, I couldn't find a bench to do so. So. Or with these inclines, which I'm fine with, completely fine. We're probably going to also, at some point, do some flies as well. Forgot to throw those in. At some point in the mix, we'll probably do some incline, incline dumbbell flies. Maybe I don't know. Let me throw some more weight on. I'm gonna give you a little gym tip right now. Don't fucking put these on these hooks, because I've I've seen people do this, and I've done this myself. But if you if you're failing on a rep and you need to fucking rack this thing and you're not looking at this before and you put this here, you will be having a really bad fucking day. So don't fucking put these here. Put them where they're supposed to be. Somewhere on here, out of the way. Because I swear to God, I've literally, again, I've done this myself. But I've also witnessed someone try and do that and then it fall off because there was something right here and they were expecting to be able to put it right there. And they just go, Whoa! nearly tear their peck. So don't do that. There's a little tip for you guys. Ugh. Yeah, dude, my like, I can feel my abs stretching. They feel better today. They're just a little sore. It's not a problem. We're probably going to go for, you know, right now I'm just warming up. So I, I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do with rep range wise. But I do think the idea today is going to be slightly higher volume. So 10 plus reps for sure. So. I need to make sure I'm using a weight where I'm not going above, you know, a certain amount. So where I, I can at least get 10 reps. So I think 225 is probably going to be somewhere in that line. I'm just not sure. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling today. It is like a couple of days from my cheat day. So we got two more days. So uh, I didn't think about that. Damn, that's way quicker than I thought. This diet's not been a problem, dude. I'm not going to lie. Especially since I started increasing calories because, I don't know, it's just easier for me to stick to Now, that being said, I told you guys I, I messed up the other night, which it happens. But I'm not even, like, thinking about me being in a diet anymore. I'm just eating the way I usually eat. And so, at this point, it's just habitual. I'm not relying a lot on, you know, uh, food to please me, I guess you could say. So... I think that that alone, you know, not using food as an external source of happiness, it's a better way of saying that. <laughs> that really uh, is changing the game. Because, you know, it, food's no, no different than drugs, guys. I mean, it's quite literally the same thing. Like, the only difference between food and drugs is that you have to have food to live, you know? But that's where it can get really tricky. Because knowing that you have to eat can get in your head, especially when you're dieting. And so you'll tell yourself, no, I'm just starving. I need to eat. I got to eat something. It's not, it's not healthy to do this. And that's just your brain trying to like play tricks on you, which 
you got to be in charge, not your brain. Because you got to understand, like your body and your brain were kind of designed for survival, not for, and that's easy now, right? Like surviving is not a problem. <laughs> like it doesn't take anything to survive nowadays. But because of that, you know, that balance of eating for survival and eating for pure pleasure has been very blurred for a lot of people. And I think that's where a lot of people struggle with. Let's go for 10 plus. This will be our first like working set. <clears throat> Two more. Just want to get that balanced out a little bit with my shoulders. Feels pretty good. That was a slow rep. Definitely not too bad though. I'm probably gonna add 10 pounds for that. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, so we're sitting at like 205. And then we may get up to 225. And then um, you know, probably stick there for like three sets just because I want to make sure I'm not like going too heavy where I can't get the reps I'm trying to get in. Because like I said, if I can't get in at least 10 reps. Um, and I'm not going to go like 10 plus until the last set really burn out. Um, which oh, I'm saying that we might stick to a drop set. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get someone to spot me or something. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but we're going to go for another, at least 10 here real quick, real fast. It's feeling pretty good. I'm going to have to go down, actually, I think. And I'm going to have to pop the wraps out. I can just definitely feel my shit straining. In fact, actually, don't worry. I'm going to do another six here in a second. I just definitely can feel my, my wrist playing, you know, funky with me. So let's go ahead and pop those wrists out first, or wrist wraps. That's okay. We went from doing a a uh, five-set working set to a um, six-set, which, uh, sure more workout but yeah man again just going back to like how i'm feeling today compared to yesterday it's crazy i feel so good today and i feel so chill like not so frustrated like i was yesterday which again i just want to re-emphasize this like guys you're allowed to have bad days in the gym it's okay it's gonna happen like it's bound to happen actually so don't get hard on yourself if it's just a rough, you know, having a rough day, even a rough week. Like, just show the fuck up. That's all you got to do, man. All right, let's get at least another six to eight on this one. You know what? And just to make it a little more guaranteed here, because this is hitting me more than I thought. It's what happens whenever you go from doing, you know, heavy low rep to, you know, heavy high rep. <laughs> you just don't really, it's hard to estimate, but that's okay. As long as I'm feeling it, that's all it matters. Oh, that's way better. All right, we'll call it there. That was an odd number. We'll stick with it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm definitely going to drop the weight down because it's getting heavy, heavier than I anticipated i think i'm just low glycogen today again we are two days away from the cheat day so about this time of the week you now every body part's already been hit i'm not replenishing my carb sources or my glycogen you know because or at least not at the same kind of rate you know like you would on like a day where you eat you know your maintenance or even uh you know, surplus, but that is coming. We got four weeks. And in fact, actually, after this next cheat meal, I should be increasing my, my calories up to 3,300 a day, which if that was the case already, we would have uh, 
we would have, um, you know, not have cheated the other day because I only ate about 300 calories extra. But, you know, it be what it be. I'm going to give myself a good second before we jump in on this. All right, that's plenty of rest. She said, I want to make sure you give yourself time to get some oxygen in. I take about two-minute breaks when I'm doing my first stuff, you know, my heavy stuff. Um, just to make sure I'm getting plenty of oxygen in because that will affect the look. But you want to use that to your advantage as you get later into a lift, especially in a cut. You want to reduce that rest time. Because one, it's going to keep you in here less time. And two, you're going to feel it more because you're not getting as much oxygen in your system. So if it's not burning oxygen when you think it's burning, that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm running out of glycogen. Got three more. <clears throat> Ooh, we're gonna stay at that weight. I feel like I got it. I just was a little unbalanced, I think. Yeah, yeah. Got one more set. This may sound stupid, but I want to reduce the weight significantly. Because I just want to try this, because that felt like a good, like a good hard set right there. I want to play around with the technique on this exercise I want to try to do. So I want to do underhand grip. And what that should do is really Help my chest squeeze at the top. Now, my hands won't be able to move. So, big thing here, I'm gonna drop the weight, like down to 95, dead ass. I'm not gonna use these wraps, I don't know why I still got them on. But, this can be a dangerous movement. I do not advise this movement to newbies or even intermediate. Like, if you do this, be careful. I would recommend dumbbells, but I've already done that. It might be not too bad. But Again, the biggest thing is the grips is super weird, so you just need to make sure your grip's comfortable. Yeah, I'm okay with this. We'll go for it. See my elbows, how they actually come closer together at the top? You're going to get more chest contraction out there. You just got to be very careful. Oh. Two more. Oh yeah, I felt that. That was a good squeeze. Yeah, I really recommend doing that with dumbbells first, at least. With dumbbells, you have a little bit more control. But I definitely felt that. I had to play around with my grip a little bit. But all here, all up in here. Whew. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and get those cable side raises in. So let's go do that. Okay, y'all should be able to see me from there. So we're doing these cable uh, side delt raises. The reason, the way I like to do these, the reason, the way I like to do these, I like to lean with it, rock with it. It just feels a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more stable. I don't feel like I'm like swinging as much from there, starting from like as dead of an angle. And I can feel a real good stretch in it too when I do it this way. So hopefully when I do it on the other side, you'll be able to see my shoulder. And I already got my first set of these already done. Like I said, I'm going to be doing um, some uh, some delt flies on here as well. But I don't know if I'll record. I might record these. We'll see. Let's see what I'm feeling like. I also was just thinking. I'll tell you after this. Ooh, I'm gonna have to drop the weight on this side. Feel it? I don't know why I asked you. <laughs> uh, one more. Ooh, definitely uneven in that muscle. For sure. For sure. So we're gonna drop the weight. On my right side, it's not a problem at all. 
left side it's a big deal so maybe that's one of the muscle imbalances i might be having going on i don't know i know there's something going on that's for sure oh i remember what i was gonna tell y'all uh i i forgot what you were i was gonna do a weighted dip for, for you guys at the beginning I completely forgot about that so i don't know maybe we'll record that for you guys that'd be a good press exercise to go over it's a little compound but you know what? Compound movement at the end of your workout, especially on a cut, like not a bad thing to do. Again, it's a push movement. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll make sure everything's hit pretty damn good before we get to it. And then we may not need any weight. You know, body weight at that point might be enough. Do a little burnout. Ooh, ooh. We're going to do that. All right, we got two more sets of these. <sighs> It's really important too when you're doing these go slow or at least controlled on the way down this side feels great feels like it's really strong got a good it's like squeeze out of it this side feels weird this feels weird Still wanting to try to make sure you're getting that pinky up too. <sighs> these are good. I'm glad I got these in. I can tell I need them. And that's a good weight. That's a good working weight, which is not a lot of weight. We were using 17, 17 and a half. Not a lot of weight at all. Like, you can. Don't get me wrong. But in my mind, if you're going to do an isolation exercise, it's not meant to be thrown around. Okay, if you're going to throw around some weight, do it with compound movements, you know, when you need to use all your muscles in, in conjunction. You know, like I was talking about with the bicep curls yesterday, or the day before, like, if, you're, if your goal is to hit all your pull muscles, using everything is going to be great, especially if it's your first exercise of the day. Now, where it messed me up, yesterday when I did legs, I started out with an isolation exercise. Now, I wasn't able to really throw around any weight and you should at some point in every lift i think it's important to try and at least don't do it if you feel like stuff's aching and stuff but if you're feeling good you now and you want to do it de decently at the beginning of your workout you know you don't want to burn yourself out and then do it it's more likely to get hurt but you know at the beginning of your workout if you're warm up you're feeling nice and good that last set of that first exercise if it's a nice compound movement you should be throwing some weight around if not the second exercise, you know, let's not get too long of a break here. I'll go ahead and get this last set in. <sighs> yeah, these feel good, man. These feel good. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead, you know, get these rear delts done. I'll, I'll do that on a different day for you guys. It's almost borderline like pull exercises when you watch me do them. Because I'm going to be doing these or these. You'll see. I'll do them on a different day. But next thing I think y'all are going to see me doing is some uh, either weighted dips or regular dips. Really burn my arms out after I've already hit triceps and stuff. So I'll see you guys there. Your boy is at the point of... Feeling pretty damn dead. I'm tired. Um, but we got this 25 secured nice and tight. Last time I did these, it was a little loose. And it was just kind of swinging a little bit too close to my uh, my jewels. We'll just say it that way. But uh, it feels pretty, pretty good right there. So we're going to keep that up. I'll probably go up and wait. But we're going to keep it pretty simple. I already did a set of 10. Three more sets of 10. Wrap up this workout. Um, I'll probably get some core done off camera. And then we'll do a quick pose out, man. Let's see how this feels. I did body weight first, so we'll see what happens. I'm definitely going to go suicide as well. Just because I want to protect my wrist. I 
we're gonna need to go up a lot of weight. I'll be honest, the 45 feels honestly better. Hangs a little lower, so we're good. So we're gonna go for, uh, I'll be honest, 10's a little low. Uh, we'll go for 12. I did add a significant amount of weight. Um, so I'm probably gonna eat my words here in a second. But uh, definitely wanna go ahead and knock these out. Core wise, that's what I'm trying to think of right now. And I really like doing kettlebell stuff for core stiffness. Uh, I just enjoy it. And it also works on like my shoulders a lot. We might go ahead and do that. I think I've already gotten, I haven't done those this week. So I did do them last week, but it's been a week. So probably going to do some kettlebell halos, kettlebell windmills, you know, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. I just enjoy them. They're really good for your shoulders too. So that's the main thing I'm thinking of. So while we're doing shoulders, you know, I can't even like step up here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Going for 12. <clears throat> yeah. It feels good. I haven't done weighted dips like like this in a good minute. So I like them a lot. I think I'm going to go for 15 on the next one, actually. Make that the last set. Uh, still, my chest worked pretty good on this, too. Like, I don't think I've worked my chest this way in a while, too. But I don't do a lot of decline stuff, you know? And this does kind of hit. The only thing I do that's like this is, like, tricep pushdowns, you know? But that's really it. Nothing else really too crazy. So, you know... I think I can really feel those fibers coming across. Like it, it felt tight. Maybe I should start throwing that in. I felt a good squeeze just doing that right there. I don't know. We'll notice more as the body fat goes away. I am tired though. As far as like what I'm eating after the workout today, I really think as far as the agenda goes, nothing crazy. Just, you know, maybe some beef and rice or I definitely probably going to get a protein shake in too. Ooh got some older bananas at home they're not old old but you know they're ready to eat. Man, i need to eat them soon so maybe like a chocolate banana i don't have any peanut butter that would be really fucking good but chocolate banana smoothie i could see that happening get some good potassium in me too yeah maybe we'll think about that after this set all right another thing too i gotta do suicide grip suicide grip feels so much better I'd say it's dangerous, but like my feet are right there. Like the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to fall to my knees. You know, maybe this thing actually. Oh God, that is the worst. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So just be aware. That would be really bad. All right. I'm going to go into three, two, one. And... <clears throat> That was rough. Oh, hit my head. <laughs> I was literally thinking the other day too, like someone needs to make like a Chigel hitting his head compilation because it happens a lot with this hat. Just can't see anything. But that was a good, that was a good burnout. Like my chest feels fucked up. <laughs> really my chest took a lot of that. Expecting the tri triceps didn't have a problem with it. I think because that movement, I've been training, squeezing with my chest, not as much. In fact, it's wanting to cramp, which is very nice. I like that. So we're going to get some core done, wrap it up there. Um, then we're going to pose out. I'm going to get some cardio. Then we're going to go home. All right. We are done. Core was quick. And it honestly only took me about five minutes. I did two sets of 10 on each side with both of the windmills and the halos. So. Not too bad. Let's see how the pump's looking. Back is thick as always. Hard to take those shirts off. But... Oh. 
Oh, tight. Like I almost feel like cramping right here. Like this is tight. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I got a dab on him. Okay, sorry, had to. Anyways, <laughs> how are you looking? Pumped up. Also a little flat. I think I've talked to you guys a little bit about that. Like as you go through your dieting week, you're gonna look worse and worse. And by the, what I mean by that is that like your pump won't be as big each time because of what we were talking about earlier in this video. Like if you're on a cut and you're in a caloric deficit later in your diet week, you know, um, your your muscles won't really pop. All right, brother, let me get that out of your way. But you do want to make sure that you're. You know, post-workout, God, that tricep is really popping out. And the abs under that, look at that. I'm definitely cutting fat. But whenever you're, you know, post-workout, you really do want to make sure you're getting those carbs in. Like, it's important because that's what's filling your muscle up with blood. And so if you don't have that, it's not just blood and fluid, obviously, water. But you don't have that. You're not going to have as much energy. You're not going to have as much of a pump post-workout. And then on the opposite side of that, after your cheat day, usually for me, you know, because I usually have, still have some stuff in my gut digesting the next day, but usually for me, two days after my cheat day is when I look the best. For me, it's when I look and feel the best. I don't know. They kind of go hand in hand, right? As If you're talking about yourself, because if you don't feel the best, you're probably not going to look in the mirror and go, oh yeah, I look great, right? <laughs> like Other people might, so it might be subjective. I'm trying to refrain from checking my back right now because like you know it's pulled it's push day <sighs> yeah now I know I'm definitely cutting fat god that looks fucking crazy <laughs> now that's a good that's not even a real pose You can just see how thick my upper body is, which I love. The triceps are starting to get a little bit more cut, too. You see my natural incline to, like, kind of roll my forward over? That's that, um, that front deltoid putting the pull forward. So, main thing... Those rear deltoids like help pull everything back. So try, I've been working on those a little bit more, especially you know you guys. I've been telling you guys about the the um, you know front deltoid being too overdeveloped. I am so tight in this chest right now. This may cramp up. Okay, that spread. The V taper coming in too. Starting to notice a lot less love handle, you know. Abs are slowly coming in, but like still a lot of lower belly fat. That's gonna be the last thing to go. Even when I was at like eight or seven percent, guys, like this still just loving to hang out. I think the way I get rid of that little little love flab right there is gonna be by actually building more muscle. Believe it or not. If we can get everything tight up here, a lot bigger. You know, shoulders too. Obviously working on my intercoastals. I think it's going to lift this up. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of it's just kind of loose skin hanging there. But I wish I knew how to do that one like tricep pose. I need to look up how to do it because I really don't know how. I know it stretches the shit out of my forearm. So <laughs> I'm going to stop doing it for now. But one more double bicep and then we'll go get some cardio and get out of here. Here I am. I'm gassed. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get this cardio in. I'm probably going to play Monopoly Go on my phone because I downloaded it last night. It looked like a fun game to play while doing cardio. So <laughs> I'm going to get 20 minutes of some biking, I think. Try and get about 150, 200 calories burnt, and then stretch, get out of here, go eat. All right, workout is done. 
I feel pretty good, man. That was a good lift. Um, definitely not the most energetic lift, you know, not compared to the last push day. The last push day was fucking fantastic. This one was pretty good too. Not bad. I definitely feel it right here in my like right side of my chest from those dips. Um, I don't know what happened there. Like in a good way, you know what I mean? Like not in a way that's like, uh, no, I feel like I hurt myself. I feel like I, sh I uh, pushed myself, if that makes sense. I just feel sore. Maybe a slight strain, but it's okay. No. I think doing some banded passovers will help fix that problem really quick. And it shouldn't be anything that's a huge deal. But I uh, ended up, I think I already told you guys, we ended up doing some uh, biting. I ended up being on that thing for 20 minutes, man. I was going, felt like I was going pretty hard or decently hard. Um, but I just could not get the calorie burn. Is this a way out? I can't even tell. Oh, it is. Sorry, there's like a new road right here that I don't know if I'm supposed to be going in or out. But there's nothing telling me I can't eat it. So we are going. We are going, fam. But yeah, I played Monopoly Go for like a solid like 20 minutes. Man, that game was pretty fun. You know, you know how it goes when you played like new freemium games like that. Like uh, the first like hour you play it, they just keep giving you stuff, giving you stuff, giving you stuff. And I was like, hey, I only need to be here for 20 minutes, so. I'll take advantage. So I'll, I'll start playing like little games like that while I'm doing cardio. Listen to I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast um, while I was doing that. And uh, I think next time, as far as cardio goes, I don't know. I love. Don't get me wrong. I like the bike. Um, I feel like I can get a better calorie burn going with like maybe the elliptical. Uh, I do personally like the elliptical uh, for post workout cardio. Uh, I don't know. It's just what I always use. I, I never really use the bike much. I've been using it a little bit more. Uh, but I feel better with the elliptical, so we'll probably do that next time. Actually, next time I'm supposed to be doing some more bag work. I try and do my bag work every like two days, so I like I'll take a day off because I don't know if you guys noticed, like that shit is uh, it's a fucking work. It's almost more than cardio when you're doing bag work. It is because you can't really do more than 10, 15 minutes. I mean, you can. I mean, anyone can sit there and whack at that bag, but. The thing about that kind of stuff is form is something like, for someone like me, now if you're just trying to like get a good workout in and you don't care about like your technique or you're not trying to become a boxer or anything like that, or you know, then I would just go over there and whack on that bag for you know 15 minutes. Regardless of what you do, technique or not, you're gonna, you're gonna build up a sweat. Um, but that being said, you know, I, I do, I do care about that kind of stuff with me personally. <laughs> just because I've been doing, you know, mixed martial arts for such a long time, I, I don't want to go messing my form up and stuff. So uh, I don't like doing it for more than like maybe 15. I'll do 20 minutes. I've done 20 minutes on the back before, but by 15 minutes, man, I mean, you're pretty dead. Everything's gone. Like your energy's gone. Definitely don't do that at the beginning of my workouts. I'll tell you that right now. It, it's just too much. It's, it's definitely too, I, I'd be, I'd be zapped. Um, but maybe on a cardio day, you know, not too bad there. Uh, tonight, later tonight, I'm gonna try and get some more stretching in. I feel like I've been kind of neglecting on my stretching, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, I need to be getting in more stretching, especially with me like, cause like I said, the idea here between what I'm doing is I'm building muscle, burning fat, right? Anytime you're building muscle, you're gonna start getting what's called muscle bound if you don't stretch. Now, if you're stretching, you don't get that. But what that is, it's where your muscles, when they heal back, cause you know what you're doing in the gym, I guess not a lot of people know the science behind this part, but what you're doing in the gym is you're actually breaking down your muscle fibers. And then whenever you rest and eat, it's recovering bigger and stronger. It's a lot, I like to describe it like scar tissue, you know? If you, any of you guys have a scar, you know, and you feel that skin or on that scar compared to the rest of your skin, you'll notice it's a little bit rougher and thicker. And that's because that's your body adapting to the uh, stimulus of getting cut. Um, and what it's doing is it's trying to grow back, grow back thicker and stronger. So that way, if something like that happens again in that particular spot, then, uh, you'll be a little bit more protected next time. And so that's how it works throughout your entire body. That's how your body like adapts to, uh, change, you know, or adapts to external stimulus. And the external stimulus in this case is exercise, right? So that being said, what you're doing is you're breaking down the muscle so that it heals back thicker and stronger. Really thick, very thick. But I'm gonna go home, get me a good old fashioned 
uh, protein shake in, maybe make a smoothie out of that, maybe make some beef, I don't know. Like I said, diet's not been too big of a deal. If you guys wanna see some more diet content, let me know. I'll try and make that, in, I, I, I try and cover that in my shorts, but you know, I'd love to hear some, some feedback from you guys. So that's about all I got for the day. Tomorrow we've got, you know, pool day, one more leg day after that, and then we got a rest day, quote unquote rest day. We'll probably be doing some mobility training. I'll get that recorded, uh, hopefully for you guys. I like to try and stay doing these consistently so I can make it habitual. The more it's habitual, the easier it is to stay with it. Um, I was kind of getting a little bit lazy with getting those videos out to you guys. Uh, and so the last one didn't get put out until last night at like 9 p.m. So I'm gonna try and not do that. I'm gonna try and have my videos out before five, or around five. Is, Somewhere around that time. Somewhere. I can't promise exactly when they're going to come out. At least they're daily, you know? So, be happy. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go. See you guys later. Peace out.